Hi, we're here. It's one, well, almost WonderCon Anaheim. We the, the doors are about to open and go into that wonderful, magical place called WonderCon Anaheim 2018. With me are the Dynamic Music Partners. How are you guys doing? Great. Great. Fantastic. It's always fun. Go ahead and introduce here. yourselves first of all to the camera. Okay. Hi, I'm Michael McQuistian. I'm Lolita Ritmanis. And I'm Christopher Carter. So Michael, Lolita, and, and Christopher. Now, now you guys are here to talk about music. And most of them are wondering, wait, wait, isn't it about comic books? What is, why are you talking about music? Because a lot of the properties you guys work with actually have to do with some of the things that we, that we talk about here. So uh, name a few, not all of them, because we'll be here for a while. Yeah. But name a few of the projects that they, they know, especially people that come to things like, like WonderCon. Well, probably Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, yeah, Teen that Titans. Show. Ben 10. Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond. Yeah. Justice League. Justice League Unlimited. Spectacular Spider-Man Young Justice. Marvel Avengers Assemble. Batman Brave and the Bold. Yeah. Yeah, so a, a few, few that you may have heard of and you, <laughs> and you might like. So on, on this one, uh, what, are you going to talk about anyone in particular on, on the panels that you're going to be on? Oh. Well, we're here to celebrate, um, particularly celebrate Michael, because uh, he worked on, he wrote the music for Sub-Zero, and you want to tell them about Sub-Zero? Yeah, it's the 20-year anniversary of Sub-Zero this year. They're doing a big panel, uh, I think it's at 1 o'clock, uh, Warner Archive is doing a panel to celebrate that 20-year milestone. So it was pretty awesome scoring that film 20 years ago. Yeah, I was going to say... I bet you for you, it's like, you, until they told you, you didn't realize, wait, it's been 20 years already? I, yeah, we were just talking about that over there. It's just like, what happened? 20 years. But what happened was all the stuff we just mentioned before, so. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I mean, any of you take it, when, when, you, when you score a, a comic book property like a DC or a Marvel, uh, well, let's go with, with uh, Superman, because all of us, it can't be helped, all of us, when we see anything Superman, the John Williams thing has to be in there somewhere. So when you guys are told, hey, compose something for Superman, how do you not copy that, but at the same time make it Superman? Well, the goal is really to, to honor what John Williams has done. Right. And, and, of course, I would never presume to compete with John Williams. He's, he's just simply amazing. But we just help tell the story. So whoever we're working with, with, uh, with what, whichever incarnation of Superman we're working on, it's, it's just really important to follow the story and the feeling and help the fans get the feeling that the producers, directors, or writers want them to get. So music has a tremendous power to impact how you feel about a certain scene. So um, that's really kind of the main main thing that we do is, is we try to manipulate manipulate your emotions. <laughs> in, in, in a nice way. Yeah. Um, yes. no, at this point, no, not go, always no, in a nice way. <laughs> no. We want to scare you. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we want we want to just like, you know, take your your head and kind of politely rip it off with our music so yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, like I was saying at this point you guys have been working together for a while also so I'm assuming no but maybe there are there is there ever a point where one of you comes up with something that you think is fantastic it fits perfectly but the other two is like oh, I don't know do you still have those moments oh at this point? I think it's the opposite it's like somebody will come up with something and we're all just like oh my gosh that's amazing and then it kind of is a kick in the butt for me and it makes me want to try even harder we have such tremendous respect for each other artistically, and we're always kind of raising the bar. Uh, you know, they're always raising the bar for me, and we, we push each other to be the best that we can creatively. It's never really that kind of the same thing where we might, you know, feel like 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 we've done something that they, they didn't like. We're always supportive of each other. Yeah, uh, Michael, congratulations again on twenty on twentieth. Thanks. Um, let's get a little bit into you guys' backgrounds. Um, whoever wants to jump in, take it. When did you start? When did you know? Hey, I, w I want to. I want to compose music. I want to play in the musical world. When, when, around what age? When, when did that start for you guys? Well, for me, I was a. Uh, when I was a kid, I would practice the piano, and and of course, I was assigned Mozart and Bach and Beethoven. But I was making up my own little tunes when I was a kid, and luckily, my mom didn't stop me. So I, those were the beginning parts of my composition. They weren't even, you know, officially I wasn't a composer. But I think I really got the bug when I moved down to Los Angeles from from Oregon, and uh, I just I simply love the idea of how how music can affect 
a scene and just also I have a very very strong feeling about melody and how that particular style of music really lends itself well for melodic expression and that's kind of my really I think my strength is to try to have strong themes so yeah. for you. Um, yeah no I grew up in sort of a similar circumstance I took piano lessons when I was little and I played instruments and that that sort of thing but I didn't really start writing until I was in high school um, you know, it was just that golden time when Superman the movie had just come out and Star Wars was coming out and like all these great scores were happening, all, all, mostly John Williams stuff. And when I heard that music, I just thought, that's the music I connect to. That's that's the music that speaks to me. And, and I had already been working in theater a lot, playing in the pit bands for like plays and musicals and things like that. And I just thought, man, if I could get that music to, to go to picture and, and do that kind of music, that would, that'd, I'd just be in heaven. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I grew up in Texas, and music was a real strong part of my growing up. Also taking piano lessons, playing in the band and the orchestra, ex playing in rock bands, um, exploring all kinds of different kinds of music. And when I realized that you could not only explore different kinds of music, but tell a story, that was when I, I, was, I caught the bug. Yeah, now, to finish up on this, uh, the geek cred, when did you guys start liking the, the Superman, the comic book uh, properties, uh, sci-fi, all, all of that? When, when did you guys start liking the, that stuff? Um, I wasn't really a comic book geek when I was little. I mean, I had a, a few like special edition Superman things. I just liked the character, but I, was, I wasn't necessarily was into the... cool the... crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you would have known me when I was little, you would not have said that I was cool. <laughs> I, I am so at home in the geek culture, it's not even funny. I mean, you know, we got the glasses and everything, so no. It was more just about the characters and, their, and the story of the characters that I really liked. I mean, I, I spent most of my childhood either practicing the piano or outside playing in the backyard and hunt, looking for worms and, you know, getting muddy and I didn't spend a lot of time inside so I, I had an adventure a life of adventure um, but I remember I did watch the original you know Batman uh, yeah. you know the Pow Zow <laughs> series and I remember it was on yeah. and I knew every episode and I just thought it was really cool and all the costumes and you know and so I, who would have thunk after all these years I mean I didn't necessarily think I was gonna be a superhero composer that's for sure but um, it's been such a great ride and continues to be a great ride for us and the fans oh my gosh they know our music better than we do which is such a <laughs> such a I mean it, it floors me and it, it means the world to us that, that that we have fans that follow what we do yeah. I, I was totally a sci-fi nut growing up I love sci-fi movies and TV shows um, I came into the comics more through the movies and uh, that's where I've remained. It's, it's been great to be a fan of the animated series that we work on and also work on it too because we get the, like, the first look on what the next episode is going to be. Yeah, I mean, kind of like with what I do here, can, can, can we really call it work? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right, right. Yeah, so it's the Dynamic Music Partners again. Thanks a lot for your time. Yeah, thanks, um, before we go, let them know your website, social media, and anywhere they can follow, follow you guys. Uh, we're on Facebook, it's Dynamic Music Partners. Uh, we're on Twitter, Dyn Musepar. Uh, individually, uh, I'm Utadir, U-T-A-D-E-E-R, on um, Twitter. Anyway, come to our website, dynamicmusicpartners.com. And I, I do want to say a special shout out to the fans um, who really wrote in, especially about Young Justice, because we were off the air, whatever, off the air, everything's changed now, but right. five years ago, and now because of the, the clamoring for more episodes, we are working on season three of Young Justice, five years after it, it was, after we wrapped, so yeah. it's just Yeah, thanks great. everybody for watching and for all your support, it just, it means the world to us. And uh, yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks. thank you.